How many diagonals are in a polygon with 300 sides? Well, it wouldn't make a whole lot of sense to draw a polygon with 300 sides and draw in all those diagonals. There has to be a shortcut or a formula. Well, first, let's back up. What is a diagonal? A diagonal is any line segment that connects two non-consecutive vertices. So if we look at a triangle, if I look at every single vertex, again, the vertex is where two ends meet, two sides meet, there are, there's no way for me to draw in a diagonal here because for this vertex, both of these sides are consecutive. So there's no way for us to have any diagonals. If I look at a square, however, I can see that there is one non-consecutive vertex if I look at this vertex. If I look at another vertex, there's only one non-consecutive vertex. So let's see if we can figure out a pattern. To do that, we're going to use this table over here where I have three columns one for the number of vertices, one for the number of diagonals per vertex, and the total number of diagonals that we see in a polygon. So we've already started with two different polygons. We've talked about a triangle. So number of vertices in a triangle, well, that's just three. The number of diagonals we said was zero because there's no way for us to draw in a diagonal, which means our total diagonals is still zero. Okay, let's go back and look at the square. A square, we said, there are one, two, three, four vertices. This vertex right here has only one diagonal. This vertex right here is only one diagonal. So we have four vert vertices. Each vertex has one diagonal, but we only see two of them. So we see that there's going to be some sort of division that's going to have to go on here. Last, let's look at a pentagon. If I look at this vertex, I can draw in one, two, diagonals. And I'm going to see that for every vertex, I'm going to be able to draw in two different diagonals. So the number of vertices here is 5. Number of diagonals per vertex is 2. And the total number of diagonals here, we have a little star, so we have 5 diagonals. So I want to know for n vertices, so I'm going to draw dot dot dot, for n vertices, what will be the total number? Well, I see that if I multiply 3 times 0, so I'm going to make a dot here, 3 times 0 is 0, so we're okay there. Here we have 4 times 1, but that does not equal 2. So what we're going to have to do is I'm going to have to take 4 times 1 and divide that in half. 5 times 2 divided in half is equal to 5. So if I look at the number of vertices, we have 3, so we're going to call that n. Here we have number of diagonals per vertex. Here we have 0, 1, and 2. And I see that to get from 3 to 0, I'm going to subtract 3. To get from 4 to 1, I subtract 3. From 5 to 2, I subtract 3. So we have n times the quantity of n minus 3, all divided by 2. So two key things about this formula right here, which tells you the number of diagonals. Okay, and I'm going to abbreviate. D-I-A-G. So a number of diagonals, there's two key things I want to point out. The first is this n minus 3. Where does n minus 3 come from? Well, if we have five vertices here, we're not going to count the vertex that's itself because it can't draw a vertex to itself. Plus, there are two more consecutive vertices. For a total of three vertices in this polygon, then we're not really counting. Second key part here is this divide by 2. Why do we have to divide this by 2? If I go back to this, to the square, if I look at this vertex, I've drawn in one diagonal. From this vertices perspective, I've only drawn one. From this vertex's perspective, I've drawn another diagonal. But it's the same diagonal. So every vertex, that, every diagonal that we draw from a vertex will be counted twice, which is why we have to divide our formula by two.